We are having a conversation. Okay. You're good. When you're good, you tell me. This man. <laughs> you're too much. <laughs> Yeah. Chief, okay, you're good. I like to be seeing you every day. Uh, really? Yes. I'll have your number, I'll come around and visit you. No problem. I call someone like him an industrial revolutionist. He's the visionary man behind Innocent Vehicles, the first ever manufacturing vehicle plant here in Nigeria. Like him, we just have to let the world know about him. That is why I am here. He's the most humble man I've ever met in my entire life. I mean, he is so down to it. I'll be more happy to get this opportunity. Even to start if you can give me this kind of opportunity, you know what you say in your mouth. If you can give me such opportunity, you know that I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Only the opportunity, you know I'm ready. I came in here to interview him, but you know what? He decided to sit down and eat with me. This man doesn't like this food. No. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, are you enjoying the food? No, like, I'm really enjoying the food. I'm waiting but for you. Let me keep it to the standard I have used before I continue. Look at this now. Let's go to my standard before yes, I continue. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I'll I agree. finish it right now. No, look at my own. <laughs> <laughs> Do me a favor, help me share this video. Let the world get to know who this man is. Share the video, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe and help your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby, to reach 700,000 subscribers. We can do it. We all have family members. Send this video to a family member and tell him to subscribe. Stay tuned and enjoy the interview with this one and only, the industrial revolutionist. Chief Dr. Innocent, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. For the second time. Thank you. I wouldn't say it's the first time. Thank you. Do you know that you've done something uncommon in Africa? Well, I don't know. You don't know? Yeah. The whole Africa is waiting for this interview. Good. I mean, and all of them are watching us at this very Thank moment. you very much. Thank you very much. All I know is Innocent. But I want you to tell me your real name and who you are. Good. My name is... Uh, Mr. Innocent Chukuma. My Ibo name is Ifediaso. And what does that mean? Something holy. Something holy? Yeah. So you are holy? I don't know, that's my name. That's your name? Mm. You know, the reason why I came to visit you today, it's about your car manufacturing company. And it's the first indigenous company in West Africa. Yeah. Mr. Innocent, I just want to know how you did it. Well, um, I feel that is the time to do it, and that's what that's what pushed me to do it. When I look in Africa, mm -hmm. you find that Africans are no longer using new vehicle. So I look to know why. I find out because a new vehicle is too expensive, because they are not producing. I focus my attention on how to produce. That's why I named the company Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing, not assembling. We are doing manufacturing, not assembling. From start to finish. From start to finish. 
anyone we cannot do by ourselves, we can get the, the team from other country, and um, that's what they're doing, to do the manufacturing, to touch the problem of the motor problem in Africa. So you were designing cars yes. by Africans yes. and for Africa? Yes. Oh, one of the unique selling proposition of Innocent Vehicles mm -hmm. is that we produce African vehicles. When we're talking about African vehicles, we look mean? at the African topography, we look at the African climate, we look at the African nation, we produce vehicles that can match us, not a made in an European vehicles, being sold in an African distinct. You understand? So we try to understand ourselves, the regionalization and the topography, then we understand the kind of vehicles that can fit into the African soil and we produce it according to it. That's one of the unique selling propositions that distinguishes innocent vehicles from other foreign brands you see in the country. Mm. That is something incredible. Yes. But if you watch any of our products, mm -hmm. it's for African standards. Reforced Chekozova because of our rules. Our motor is more luggage to run in Africa than anywhere. Dr. Inose. Yes. I just want to know, you know, your, I read your biography. Yes. They told me that you're born in Inewi. Yes. But um, you just finished high school. Yes. Is that true? That's true. After high school, what happened? I go to learn the business from other people. So, which means you didn't go to university? I didn't go to university. What did you learn from the beginning after high I school? I learned about dealing on motorcycle spare parts and motor spare parts. That's what I learned. You're dealing with motorcycles. But, but my experience on that mm -hmm. drive me into motorcycle assembling and motor assembling. Where were you getting the motorcycle from, from the beginning? I, I learned about motorcycle spare parts. I research by myself and get the component by myself and make a symbol of motorcycle. Dr. Innocent, there's something I don't understand. Mm. After high school, yes. how did you get the money to start the motorcycle? After high school, I started trading on motorcycle spare parts. From trading on motorcycle spare parts, I built money to motorcycle assembly. From motorcycle assembly, I built money to plastic plant to support the assembly. After the plastic plant, I built money to motor plant. So it means it's stages. It's stages. People don't know the stages. No, it's that a stages. Were... It's a stages. I didn't do all of them one day. Is there something that you didn't even tell me? Mm. You were working in a pharmacy shop. Yes. After high school. Yes. That was for your. My my brother Gabros. Is it your brother that gave you the? Yes, my brother has a pharmacy shop. I work with him. From there, I learned the motor and motorcycle spare parts deal. So where is your is your motorcycle uh, plant still? It's still in the market. Here. It's still working very perfect. Still working? Yeah, very perfect. And the plastic? It's still working very perfect. And now you have innocent motors? Yes, working very perfect too. But why is it that we just got to know about innocent? Uh, it is what you want to know. How does they are working? No, which means that you have to. If you want to go to all of them, you can see all of them. They are working very perfect. I have the largest plastic plant in West Africa. Really? Yeah. And where is that? Enugu. In other states. Are you going to take me there? Why not? If you are ready, I will take you there. It's number one in Africa. The manufacture? Manufacture of plastic in all type of plastic. Wow. So hmm. which means that they will use the same plastics from there? In I use my motor component plastic I produce in there. That's incredible. Hmm. Why I set up plastic is to use for my manufacturing plants. Because plastic is everywhere. I make all these bombers and all these uh, uh, parts of the plastic component of motor in my factory. When you see what you've achieved today, what makes you feel so proud about it? What makes me so proud about it is that um, today, anywhere I go in this country, I see innocent products. I can see nothing plastic, I can see nothing vehicle, I can see nothing tires, I can see nothing all those things. Makes me happy when I see them working perfect. From the humble beginning? Yes. So now, mm. there should be something that keeps you moving. What is that thing that keeps you moving? Well, I believe that um, anybody who wants to be tomorrow have to be sincere with people. 
Anything you discuss with anybody, you stand on that. Everybody would like to deal with you. Like me, everybody I have deal with you wants to want me tomorrow. Because I like to entertain in the truth. Yeah. Stand on my stand and uh, that uh, makes things to happen. My youth today, I'm telling everybody, try to work hard in your youth and be honest. If you're honest in your youth, you cannot go back. There's something interesting about you. Yes. Um, I mean, you are born and raised in Inewi. Yeah. Yes. But you're still staying in Inewi. Yes, I want to prove that we can. you can grow anywhere you are. Like, you're, you're born and raised here. Yes. Did you live abroad? No. You stayed here? No. You achieved everything? I can't go anywhere, stay more than 10 days in the world. You, you, you stayed in Inewi? I can't live in Inewi more than 10 days. And I won't feel comfortable and happy when I leave this town to another place. For I can't stay more than 10 days anywhere I travel to. You know, what I, I want to drive at is that you're able to achieve all these things in Nigeria. But yet, Nigerians are saying that it's not possible in Nigeria. It is possible, great possible. They are seeing it, it's possible. There's nothing. If all Nigerians that move outside this country, mm to work. If they can put effort, they are doing other countries, they will make it double. Africa is a virgin place to work. See our agriculture and other things. There's a lot of opportunity in this country. Let them come back. I will direct them. I will guide them. They will make it more than what they are making overseas. As far as you are sincere, are ready to work. If you are sincere, are ready to work, you will make it more. This, Africa is more it's open for people. It's a virgin place. You develop Africa. You make more money than anywhere in the world. Are you serious? Yes. If you are ready to work, come, I will guide you. You do a journey things. You don't need to be, you, know, you don't need to commit crime before you make it. You don't need to commit crime just to work. Easy. I will guide you. You improve. I'm ready to work. Will you guide Don't me? worry. Anytime, <laughs> anytime you come to me, I will guide you. What you make in Africa is more, is more than what you make in anywhere in the world. Africa is a virgin place to make money. If you're working overseas, overseas have a fool. There's no space. Unless you want to commit crime. The only way you can make money easy is in Africa without committing crime. If you are ready to work, most people don't want to work. If you come out and want to be ready to work, no matter what you want to do, do it well. You make it. Dr. Innocent. Thank you. How many people have you employed so far? I have uh, total workers about uh, 4,300. Thousand three hundred workers working on them. They are all in a payroll. Yes. Mm. You know, something that so I mean, I'm I'm so proud talking about you is that you're a man that never had a university degree that so many young African boast with, mm. but now you, you take care of four thousand three hundred. Four hundred workers, one mm. Which I think in five industries. Incredible. In five industries. industries. Yes. My five industries are working. I have total four thousand three hundred workers. You are an inspiration. Thank you. And uh, I want you to be my mentor. I will. I, I thought you said I should be coming around. That's what I said. <laughs> I look at you as somebody who is ready to work. Yeah. And I see that anybody who is ready to work mm. is ready to develop. No matter what you are doing, you are ready to work, you will develop it well. Mm. It is not a composer. Mm. Our youth now believe that is a composite to commit a crime. To become successful. Yes. But I'm telling them, it is not a composite. When you are ready to work, mm. you make it even more than committing a crime. I'm, I'm making it the, in, making a genuine it, way. in a genuine way. I like that. Yes. I like that. I like yes. that. What was the first model of car that your factory ever produced? We started um, to produce pickup. Um, we started pick up and um, small bus. Okay. And it was fantastic. 
when people see their surprise, that is the first one we did. Okay. And it went where people like it. Um, we, are, we have changed the model the first time, and we are changing it again the third time. And how, how long has um, Innocent uh, Motors has been in existence? I started in 2010. 2010. Uh, 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 yeah, I started 2000. Is it 2010? 2010. I commissioned the factory in 2010. Mm. So we have last the year, um, almost 10 years wow. on the road. Mm. What is the major challenge that you face when establishing this? Well, um, uh, you know, in Africa, mm -hmm. challenges come every day. And the important thing is to be able to to pass the challenge because when we started the um, energy situation in this country is not good. Okay. So we are burning diesel. After some time diesel price becomes times two. So everything becomes expensive. We are trying to but sometimes government um always trying to allow the natural grid to work. So um so the most challenges we have then is electricity problem. Hmm. But today it's not like that again, it's now better. It's not better. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Innocent, I wanted to know, are Africans really supporting your business in terms of like, are they purchasing the cars since knowing that it's made in Africa? Yes, Africans are going well. But number one is that my car is too luggage for Africa because- um, It's too what? It's luggage for Africa. I'm putting four suspensions, most of my cars. Okay. Yes, two. The, uh, one of the, and the, the shock observer of my cars are specially enforced for African roads. Okay. Because we know the situation of our roads. Mm, yeah. So we are trying to do it. But that's why it's difficult for the motor to have problems in African road. Is it expensive to buy an innocent car? It's not expensive. It's cheaper than any motor. And it will give you the service. Yes. yes. You know, there's something that you need to let them know. Uh, what was your first ever capital that you started your first business with? I served my brother. After serving him for some years, he established me with some money. I don't need to say it. <laughs> I would love to yes. meet your brother and say, Thank you to your brother. Yeah, I can, I can give you my, I can, yeah, I can tell you some of my He established for me. He's, he's established with for support you. of the uh, yeah. uh, Lujeni, all of them. He, he loved me because of my honesty. Wow. He took me like a son. He supported me a lot because he's the first importer from Nigeria to Taiwan to bring goods to this country. So I'm one of his customers. Mm -hmm. because, of because of the honesty he see on me, he took me like a son. So you mean honesty is the key? Honesty is the key. My son is the honesty. Honesty will not know me. He's there, he supplies excess goods to me. And I return it back to him. He remarked me. Which means? And support me all the time. You're trying to tell young Africans to yes. be honest. Honest is important. Honesty is an investment. When you're doing something, you're doing honesty. It's an investment. You can never go down. People will know you. Yes. There are so many Africans watching us right now. That's we okay. We have a message for Africans watching Africa, us. Africa, I'm telling every youth in Africa to work hard in their youth and be honest. They will make it. If you are doing, you are working hard and be honest in what you are doing, you must achieve it. And you have opportunity to put your own input on anything you are doing, your own idea on anything you are doing to make a difference. You're actually making a difference right now. Yes, you have to do it. You have to make things different from what you are doing before, before people will understand, yes, you are there. You make a difference. Man, that you be something you see yesterday. I'll tell you no sin. Yeah. If you have the opportunity mm. to change something mm. in this our continent, Africa, mm. what would that thing be? Well, the main thing that Africans have to look back and correct their mistakes so that they can move forward. Africa is so backwards. 
So let them look back and check their mistakes. I believe even Europeans will be happy when Africans correct their mistakes. What kind of mistakes are you talking about? Well, they are not moving their, con their country forward, most of them, most of the leaders. So when they see their mistake and correct it, Africa will move forward. God give us a good blessing, and I believe when we are doing things well, we'll move. Uh, there's no difference between us and the um, white people, only that if you correct our mistake and do it well, we'll do the same thing. Reason like, like, like white people, mm. if she, it, most times when you see a black man and white man, there are reasons why difference. Mm. So why can't us correct our mistake? and work hard and develop ourselves like them. I just want to say thank you so <laughs> thank much. Thank you very it's much. It's a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you very much. Um, your Igbo name once again. Ife de Oh, wow. OK, which means something holy. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing interview. I mean, it's not even an interview, it's a conversation. I mean, we had three hours conversation behind the scene yesterday. That's why you see me having this conversation with him. Right now, I'm the new son of this family. I'll be coming back here again. If you really enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Like the video, share, I mean, and subscribe. Let's hit 700,000. I mean, this video alone, it's full of inspiration. So you need to reach a million views. Be Thank part you. of the million views. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh, it woke up. Hey! <laughs> hey, uh, OK. Yeah. Uh, I'm here in Enugu, and I'm seeing IVM, which is made in Nigeria. If I see Nigerian purchasing made in Nigerian cars, it makes me so happy. And the fact that I have been to the factory myself to go see how they manufacture these cars, it's incredible, man. Big shout out to you, Mr. Innocent. I know you love me. That's why I had to do this for you. And I love you too, man. I help Maya.